It's Chitty! Did you hear that? Where did it come from? Uh, it's behind the desk. Can't you see? She's a small child. The reception, it seems. Oh, well, Jay, it's a character we could never get! Because she's a five star character. Go check it out. And Paimon will bring up the rear. Absolutely. Let me dodge right in there. Excuse me. Get out of the way. Chi Chi! No, it's not Shinquan. Hello. Chi Chi! Hi! Uh, hi? Child? Oh, she's so adorable! You can't even see over there. She needs a chair. Oh, there you are. But you can't even reach the counter. Hi, man. If we're going to talk about hi, you, uh... Joke's on you. Paimon floats. So hi, there's no restriction. Listen here, you. What if I just shove you in a box? Then you can't say that. There's a zombie mine in the desk! I know, right? She's so cute! Hey, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? Because she's a zombie. Uh, Chinese zombies usually have that. The Chinese hopping zombies. They have these talismans that activate them. It can't be. She's a zombie? She's the cutest zombie I've ever seen. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Hi, Chi Chi. You're so adorable. I want you at my party Once forever. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. <clears throat> the zombies come as a dipta! Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. I think that just cosplay, Paimon. No, listen here. Uh, hello, little girl. Oh god, don't say it like that. <laughs> everlasting incense here. Do you not know how to handle children? Why do you say, hello, little girl? Oh my god. Is that why Chi Chi sounds older than she looks? Yes, because she's just sleepy. Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? What prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Wait, what are we buying here, bro? Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Cheat orders. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of the Oh, orders. I see. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. Wait, what? Can she do that? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Also, what? My dear Chi Chi. Mm, my dear Chi Chi. a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Yes, please. Also, how can I be out of Reese's that quick? Just give me a second, everybody. Ugh, there's another Reese's. Oh, I thought a Reese's take five. That's super rare. I ate all those when I first got my candy. Okay, then. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. All right, what do you need? You need a chair so you can actually see us? Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Listen here, Paimon. Be quiet. Chi-Chi's adorable. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Yeah! Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Except I can't do gymnastics, mental or not. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a Coco Goat. What's a Coco Goat? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. What the frick, Paima? She just helped us! Huh? Hunt the what with the witch at the where? Huh. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. Have you? It's a kind of crossbow turret. Oh, okay. Installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. Uh huh. An early mechanical device. You say so, Lee. I trust you wholeheartedly. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Mm hmm. Apparently, not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the cocoa goat. Obviously, she's talking about a cocoa, a, co a, co a coconut, cocoa, whatever. The cocoa goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. No, that does, that's not a thing. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No, just that the cocoa goat is a legendary animal, an adeptive beast. Hmm. Where is the proof that this actually exists? What it looks like. Don't know. 
Don't, okay. Find it. Don't know either. Okay, I don't Where trust this child. From? Also, don't know. Uh, do you tell if you remember anything else you don't remember? Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. The lion, the witch, and the zombie. I killed the goat. I know, right? What the heck is a cocoa goat? Uh, and obviously it's gotta be a coconut fused with a goat. Because she probably just wants milk or something for that reason. Although I don't know why it has to be a coconut. I don't know. We have to help her. She's helping us. We have to help her. Right, Chi Chi? There she is. I can't wait to... Coco goat. Yes, I will. Hang on. Let me, uh... Hang on, hang on. Let me... Nope. Let me... In the back. Hello. See, look at Chi Chi. Isn't she so adorable, everybody? I can't wait till we unlock her in the game eventually. Sadly, though, she's a five-star character, so that won't be anytime soon. Hooray. Okay, there we go. It's huge. Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. Sure, why not? But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. That's why they have lovers here, Paimon. Mm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Don't worry, we could probably fix it. Aww. What? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. Use your unlimited high society knowledge powers. That doesn't work in this situation, Paimon. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite. Mm, bourgeois. Whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. I mean, <laughs> that's how we treat NPC characters. <laughs> that said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. Okay, so where As is I it? Recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. Uh, I'm guessing the camera angle is telling us it's in there. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. Okay, I can I understand, but why does the camera have to still be moving towards this stupid thing? I can clearly see it. So, Let's go back to him. What Lee. you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? Maybe. I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. Hmm, kind of suspicious. With the parts but I'll leave hand, it slide. I could at least tinker with it. Windows here. Why didn't anybody tell? Oh god! Oh god! I'm stuck in the box. Save me! There was windows here. What the frick? Oh my god! It took 50 million hours. What the frick? I'm stuck in a box. Oh my god! 50 million years, man. 50 million. I did it, Lee. I just had to look with my eyes. Oh my god. I did it! Beto hunts treasure for a living though, so it makes sense why we had Beto that time. Literally did- The camera did not even show that there was windows here. That's kind of annoying. All I had to do. Ah. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. It even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey, just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Huh. Are you blind or something? 
You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Wait a minute. Does that mean you're the leader of all the treasure hoarders in the whole entire open world map? If so, you look pretty average. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. Wait. It might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Oh, it does? Oh, well, let's turn it towards you guys by accident. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. It sounds like a you problem. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! Yeah, get over it. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Why is this, uh, nobody talking to me? Tut tut. Tut tut! tut. <laughs> Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. Oh, uh, look at him go! It's so awesome! But you. But you! Enemies incoming! Time to defeat the treasure hoarders. Can you climb up here? Oops. Shang Li. Huh. These low lifes didn't know who they were messing with. Troubling uh -huh. ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. Obviously, Li. We should Whatever focus you say. on our contract with Chi Chi. Of course. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? Yeah, where's that thing that's not even real at all? I don't even know why we're over here. What a... a search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. Uh huh. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Which means this was a complete waste of time. Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? Yeah, we murdered an entire team of hoarders. That's totally positive, Paimon. Thought I was on your team. No, I'm talking about my team. Jean, Shangling, uh, Jean, Barbara, Beto, <sighs> and Lee. We won't solve Just anything kidding. while standing Probably here it. and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a cocoa goat and review our next step. Okie dokie, Lee. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. I doubt that's what Chi Chi wants, though. Pretty sure she wants the Coco Goat. Lee, this is plan's not going to work. Plot twist. It was all filler all along because they're running out of story. Here soon, anyway. Alright, well. Sorry about your luck, Chi Chi, but we don't have what you're looking for. But not to worry. I'm sure we can find a replacement. Oops. For your Coco Goat. That's what I get for charging through this place all the time. Alright. Chi Chi, I'm back. You're one of my favorite characters that I want to collect. Hello, Chi Chi. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. Absolutely. <sighs> What a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aww, poor Chi Chi. Aww, poor Chi Chi. Yeah, Chi Chi! Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Chi Chi, do you have any other clues? Coco goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Okay, calm down, Chi Chi. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptibeast could make such tasty milk. I don't think it was an Adeptibeast. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Oh, this poor zombie. Where did I put it? It's like Alice and Paimon share one mind. Listen here. <laughs> ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. That's not a cocoa goat milk. It's cocoa nut. Oh, this poor Chi Chi zombie girl. It's from a coconut tree. Ha <sighs> <laughs> Lee, even, even Lee! I owe you both an apology. 
I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child. Zombie child! Or perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Yeah, it's not your fault, Lee. Paimon said to do it, right? So it's Paimon's fault. Though it's never your fault, Lee. You listen to me right now. It's never your fault, Lee. Never mind, Zhang Li. You didn't know. As the Lele proverb goes, all things are random. No. And, um, so how are you supposed to predict anything? That's not how it is. No one could have seen this coming. I saw it coming a mile away. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi Chi say a bad thing? No, Chi Chi, you're not. Oh, look at this baby. You never say anything bad, Chi Chi. Oh, look at her. It's just so Aww. cute. Job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. How dare you leave me with that job, Paimon? This should be your job. <clears throat> Tweet your baby child. It's about time to tell you where the coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. They all need to grow up sometime. <laughs> oh my god! Who the frick? <laughs> Oh, scared me! Then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Your little Chi Chi? She's my little Chi Chi! I mean, what? Also, this is another supposedly quotation mark character that we'll be able to play in the game eventually. Baizu? Baizu? Maybe? Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude. <gasps> yeah, he's got a vision! I'm Baizu, boss gonna... of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Baizu. Yeah, see? We're gonna play him eventually if he has a vision. I'm an ex expert at that. No, listen here. Also, he's got a cute little snake around his neck. That's adorable. I that Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. That's not a medicinal ingredient. That's a pet, Paimon. What a sorry state of affairs. <gasps> it talks. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. It talks. Ah, the medicine. The snake is speaking. Nothing in leeway surprises me anymore. I sound so dead to the world if I choose this one. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. Your voice actor sounds familiar, maybe. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Chung. Chung She's Chun. a good girl, really. As for you three. Hello. Chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Oh, uh, you know, I'm distracted. Baizu looks like a cool character as well. So now I'm gonna have a problem. Do I like Baizu more? Do I like Lee more? Well, you both can join the harem. I mean, listen here, we are here about business. Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Yeah, what he said. Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Nice. Ooh, at last, things are fine. Three million more. Top Four! Three! Three million! You might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chiefs have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. A hard sum? Listen here, I've never had three million in this game. You do not understand. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. All the time. <laughs> this is correct. This is correct. No shame. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? I know, right? Chi-Chi scare! 20 minutes later. <laughs> oh, hey, child! <laughs> Also, uh, about last time we saw you, I'm really sorry about treating you so coldly. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> my sides hurt. Aw, I'm his oh, child. Goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Wait. Is this payback for being mean to you? Is this your doing? Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. Goes back to child. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Listen here, child. Mess? If this was all because of you, Excuse I don't me, feel sir. sorry anymore. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? He's a doctor? Truly honored. I'm child. One of the Fatui Harbingers. 
Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. I see it too. It's like that vision hanging around his waist. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Look at Child working his magic. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with speckled deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Yeah, because she's Chi Chi. Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Yes, yeah, see? How can you refuse this child? Look at her. Look into her eyes. She can see into your soul. You must give her all the coconut milk. Ah. Yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Yeah, see, anything. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 more. Listen here, that's not a discount. Also, it's a mini Earth John! That's Basically. Like zero difference from 3 million! I know, right? Everyone here is so expensive. Hmm. 2,990,000. Please, stop! <laughs> also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though, practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Lee, please, do you not understand how money works? Please, Lee, someone, stop him! Well, stop him now! Now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi. Little Miss! See you soon. E. I'm gonna miss all of you. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. Oh, hey, it's child. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. How are we watching this if we're not wa outside watching you? Okay. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Eavesdropping? Who are you talking to? Yes, <gasps> Master Oh, snap! They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the golden house, if not the Exuvia? See, I told you he's a triple agent! I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Oh, come on! Don't do this to his child! You're one of my other favorite characters! How dare you! It's girl B, apparently! Ah, oh, man, child, stop it! What? Also, I have an achievement. Oh my god! Let's see how much I don't have now. Yeah, 105. Nice to meet you, Chi Chi. Baizu. Baizu? I can't pronounce your name right, I'm so sorry. I cannot wait to have both of you in my party. Right, everybody. Okay, for this is my maximum occasion since so she's not behind the desk anymore. Let's take a photo. Who would like to take a photo together? Ever. You guys have to look at the camera, please. You stop looking at me like that. I'm looking at- <laughs> this is a funny picture. She's looking at me, he's looking at me, and then I'm looking at her. This is funny. Let's it's just take time this picture. To move on. Never mind, I'm not looking at anymore. Here. Oh, now I am. There we go. Boom. There we go. Photo up. Okay, bye. So nothing. Run! They can't stop me! I've got the picture now! <gasps> Alright, so... It's nice that we finally get to see more characters in the game that we're probably gonna get eventually. I can't wait to not have any fates to get them or any chances to get them. But it is nice to meet them. This is probably one of my favorite streams just because we got to meet some new characters. They're all so funny and I love them. Especially Lee, Chi Chi, Baizu, Child, always. Hi, hi, Lee, I'm back. How's it going? We well, have all we need? As it stands, we've hired helpers. Uh -huh. And we've acquired the everlasting uh -huh. incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Yay, we did it! Ooh, finally! And Aether! Well, Aether's not here. I still have to find my brother. Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? You know, it's been odd, but it's been fun. Odd? I'm not sure if you're living the high life. Or they're experiencing the struggles of the poor. Uh, uh yeah, that one. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. Uh-huh. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided... To join my party forever for free? To treat you to a meal. <gasps> uh, oh, wow, that's amazing! I'm going to screenshot that. All right, there we go. Now it's forever mine. Oh, thanks! That's amazing! Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. 
I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Oh, he's gonna... We're going on a date for real this time! I take you both to an old hole in the wall. Praise okay. throughout Leo. Yay! As in a cool restaurant? Or is it a literal hole in the wall? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Okay, let's go. Let's go right now. First we had a date with Amber a while back, and now we're having a date with Sean Lee. Obviously the Lee one would be much more memorable, I would say. Let's go. Where is it? I must go now. It's his tree. Wait until the appointed time. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, Lee. Lee, I'm on my way. You guys don't understand. We finally actually get to go on that date that I was joking about earlier in the stream. <laughs> there he is. Get him. Lee! You actually have the money this time? If not, I can front the check. Hello, sit. Let me sit. Sit. Hello, I am here. Ah, I'm ready for the date. Here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Thanks, Lee! Let's eat then! The knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. So, does this mean I can order wine this time? I don't drink. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should have suspected if this. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguang's hey! chamber. Hey! Ningguang, I remember hey, her. There's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. At least we get a cutscene this time. Unlike with Amber, we just talked a little bit and we didn't actually get to eat Besides anything. Besides fine wine. The excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. Right. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. Uh -huh. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. Oh, is that that thing that we always keep seeing in the game? That castle in the sky? It's Ningguang? What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguang's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. I thought that was Celestia. So what the frick is it? Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, <gasps> the glorious Who is that? sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching also, out far and wide. I've heard rumors that that's going to be a playable character later on as well. Look at them go. I want them, whoever they may be. Ooh, cutscene. That when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, oh, it's so pretty. To her jade chamber with none. It's a cliff. No, listen here. Closest confidants in tow. Nice. They look the same. Why oh, look at that one face. These <laughs> three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information. Ningguang. Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. What the frick, Ningguang? Rude? Having it... made her call, she has every last document shredded. And whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. That sounds like a terrible idea. What if someone put the pieces back ah, together? Look at them. How they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling lizard. As the fragments fall, oh. traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Leo. So the merchants fall to the death for these papers. In white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. Ming Tian have the power to move mountains and all throughout the land know it. Hmm. Ningguang sounds like such a... <laughs> anyway. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Man, I thought she was going to be a cool character, but she's just a jerk. What the fuck? She's making everyone fight to the death for her paper. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. And she's awful, right, Lee? Twin Ningguang. 
feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Oh, uh, you know, she was also the one at the ceremony who killed the dragon, that's what I think. Clearly locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. She sounds like a jerk. But we always play with her. Cal Pally Cali has Ningguang, but she never seemed like a jerk when he had her. I don't know. I have found you. Wait, what? You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who? Where? Where? Who's there? Who's there? Paimon, we gotta go! Wait, I am not with the Millilith. Hello. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. I have a bounty? However, How much is I it? am an emissary of the Leo Achising. Ooh! My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion. And I have come specifically to meet you. So yeah, this character might be playable later on. I don't know where her vision is. Is that it on her hip? But look at her! She's so cool! She looks like a dragon. Hello, emissary. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. I know, right? She looks like a best girl. Ningguang we gotta collect her. You? We were literally just talking about her. I know, right? That's so weird how that works in Liyue. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. Ah. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. Well, uh, invitation? She invites you to her palace in the sky. Oh, snap! We get to go to the palace in the sky! Invitation, Let's go! Invitation? Alright, so I was right. This is the last quest before there's no more story for a little bit, I think. Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. Oh, okay, cool. I wish to meet her. <gasps> she wants to meet me? Well, then we finally get to know more about her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Wait, hold on now. I don't know how I like that sentence. That's kind of sus. Like, yan air, yan yin air. But like before, earlier. What happened? And with that, I sat down again. The who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. Yangu, scary, right? Why did we tell her that? I know, right? <laughs> but we've received an invitation from the Leo at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it. I can't believe she knows who I am. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. I always mind my manners. <laughs> an invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. Yes, but now, can we get back to what's more important, our dinner? You'd best be on your way now. No, but my don't dinner! Don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. So, Lee, listen don't here. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there! No, Lee, don't ever leave me! Lee! Lee, no! Oh, whatever. Well, I guess this is goodbye for now, Lee. I'm gonna miss you with him. Maybe if I... I will get this picture. Oh no, come on, zoom. Here we go, perfect. This is perfect. You will be with me forever. So no need to worry about that. Alright, well. I guess if we check our quest. Yep, that's it. We've continued, we completed all the main story that's available in the game so far. I'm kind of sad. Now I just have to work on all kinds of other things until they release the next part of the story. I'm so sad. Well, let me check my wishes. I now have six wishes, four more to go, and then I can do my next summon. Alright, well, I'll see you until the next part of the story, whenever they release it, Lee. Well, bye for now. So anyway, thank you all for watching today's stream of Genshin Impact. The story may be paused for now, but I will keep you playing it. Uh, in my own time, and I will try to stream it. Can you... Okay, everyone needs to be quiet for a second. Basically, I'm still gonna stream the game, but I'll be doing different things like co op with Pally Cali and some of my other friends, and who knows what else we have in store. So, little Pyman can sign us off. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Bye bye for now.